An inclusive workplace culture is when you walk through the door every morning and you feel that actually this is somewhere where you can genuinely be yourself and bring to work the things that you want to bring. So an inclusive culture is really demonstrated by people feeling that they belong there, that they are a core part of the team, a core part of the organisation. An inclusive workplace culture is essentially one in which people can feel that they can be themselves. The, they don't have to pretend to be anybody else, they can be authentic. One of the really important benefits of inclusion is something called team potency. And actually we know that team leaders and team managers who are really good at creating an inclusive team environment around them have what uh, we know as higher levels of team potency, where the sum of the parts is greater than the individual contributions. Inclusive leaders understand that real inclusion is about more than just diversity. It's about actively creating an environment where everyone feels that they can bring their whole self to work, knowing that they are valued and appreciated for what they contribute. It's really important to remember that inclusivity isn't a proxy for diversity. You can have a non-diverse team and people still feel excluded from it. They look on the surface as though they fit, should feel that they fit in, but in fact there's something happening in the team dynamic, in the behaviours that are being demonstrated towards them that mean that they really don't fit in. Paul, where's your glass? Oh, I'm driving tonight, I think. Oh, you're no fun. No, I don't drink, sorry. Oh, well, I suppose there's some orange juice left over in the fridge if you guys want anything. Would you like a glass of Yes, please. All right, everyone, gather round, please. I want to say a huge thank you to all of you for all of your amazing work on this project. The client is absolutely delighted and is singing our praises to everyone. You are all stars. So, give yourselves a toast. To the winning team. To the winning team. I also want to say a very special thank you to Nikki and her fabulous marketing girls. You are all just amazing. I don't know what we'd do without you. I honestly don't. Sarah has a little favorite, and I'm afraid they get to cherry pick all the best jobs, which means they can shine, you know, they have opportunities to shine. You know what I mean? Oh, there's a, a girl's brigade here, uh, no doubt about it. Sarah's got her little gang. So I don't, I don't really socialise with the rest of the team. Usually it's, it's Sarah and, and her little gang who are being loud and annoying while the rest of us are just trying to sit quietly, have a chat and bide our time before we can, we can go and, and, and leave. Um, and I don't really join the, the after work drinks either, um, usually because I'm driving. But there's quite a, a number here who, who don't drink or they, they want to get off and, and get home and see their families. But what it means is, is that sort of after work drinking culture does exclude quite a few of us. Um, and I know quite a lot of important stuff is discussed there, so we're out of the loop. <laughs>